What is up guys, Chu here with... I'm Caitlin. A couple of days ago, I made her watch The Room. I've already done my review on this, but I'm only gonna stand here just to kinda stand here, really. I want her to review The Room, so go ahead, give your spiel, however you want to explain it. How do you feel? Actually, unless you want to do a Q and A, you can do Q and A. Q and A, okay. Because literally, I would just stand here and talk right. about how horrible it is if you did. Oh, no, 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 no. You're, you're, what you're supposed to be saying, the masterpiece that is the room. We haven't watched a disaster artist yet. Yet. We will though. I don't know when. It's been. We've been postponing it for various reasons. But I really wanted to do this with her like having her watch it. I had a friend also watch it over here, but he's not here today. But anyway, let's get right into it. What did you think of the room? It was horrible. And look at me, look at the camera. It was so awful. I don't understand why this has an occult following. I'm really confused. Now, like, as someone who follows certain other occult movies like The Princess Bride or Rocky Horror Picture Show, I kind of get that. But, like. I don't get it for the room. Now that you mention the Princess Bride, I will mention this to anyone. You remember when we went to go watch the Princess Bride in theaters? Yeah, we went and saw it on a big screen for the special 30th anniversary. Right, now I want to add on to something. Those same people that brought the Princess Bride to theaters are also going to be bringing the room January 10th to select theaters. So if you guys want to watch the room on the big screen and really want to get the full experience, Go watch it January 10th. I'm considering it. I don't know how you feel about it. I really don't want to see it again in my lifetime. <laughs> but it's a possibility. So maybe we will watch it on the big screen. No promises. But the disaster artist, hopefully in the next couple days, we will, we will go watch it. Alright, question number two. Mm -hmm. Name one thing that you did like about the movie. You have to, you have to say something that you liked about the movie. Lisa did a wonderful impression of someone with borderline personality disorder. Explain that. Well, I mean, she literally went from being oh so in love with this man and having like you know relations with him to suddenly I don't want him anymore. I don't, I don't want him anymore. I like his best friend. Or, like, hitting on the kid who was creepy, by the way. Denny was super, really super creepy. Um, <laughs> that's probably actually not a really good example of borderline personality disorder. More like bipolar. But it was like a really huge flip switched in her. And I mean, it was a constant thing. It was like, uh, I want you, but I don't want you. It tells everyone else I hate him, but does a really good job of pretending to like him in bed. Really, really cool. But remember, she doesn't want to talk about it. Okay. Just like the best friend saying, You'll never have me. Did I miss the part where y'all like were having an affair? That, that was kind of the part of the movie, and you're going to be like, You killed him. Well, it takes two to tango here, honey. You played a big part in this mess. And before you get to this so-called mess, before the mess happens, did you like the plot? No, it was awful. Well, I mean, literally, there there wasn't much plot except for creepy kid, annoying mom, she's having an affair. Who the heck are some of these random people we throw in on the sides? Literally, if this was written, if this was actually written into a book today, it would be tossed out the window and a dog would pee on it. Dog team on it. I mean, it would be tossed out, but this movie, you know, it is legendary. It's it's gone down as one of the worst, but for good reason. It had good intentions. Lots of things have good intentions. I'm, but that doesn't mean that it's worth being a legend over. Well, it is. I mean, and I'm hearing so much about the disaster artist that I really want to go watch because. They say that movie's actually really good. I can't speak for it. I can only base myself on what other people have said, but I need to watch it myself. 
but here's the thing. I don't think we should even call this movie famous. I think it should be more well known as infamous for its being horrible. And that's a completely different thing than being famous. Like when, when you have to make a movie about the making of the movie because it was so horrible, that doesn't make you famous. That makes you infamous in a world where people enjoy laughing at horrible things. That's kind of my take on it, you know? Like, now, but now that you watched it, don't you want someone else to enjoy this movie? Because yeah. because that's the purpose of this movie yeah. as well. Because this movie is meant for people to watch. That's why you get this cult following. And without even realizing, a lot of people will say quotes of the movie. And I, I've done this before. At work, I would be quoting to people you know, certain parts of the movie. And they automatically get it. And I've been shocked because there have been about two or three people that I've done that to and they'll automatically quote it without getting angry because that's just how this movie is. It's so terrible you can never forget about it. And that's what makes it so great. I, mean, I think that at some point you will tell someone else watch this movie and you're going to want to watch their reaction. No, no. I'm good. I don't, I don't really want to make anyone else suffer through what I suffered through. Uh, Literally not... sitting there looking at you saying, I'm losing brain cells. Actively losing brain cells watching this movie. This horrible acting, horrible script writing, and I, I, the, the plot was stupid. I mean, I don't... I was just befuzzled that this was actually made into a movie. Literally, I... I can't. Yeah, what do you think about the ending? Which your favorite part. Okay. Let me just go over about this. If you're going to shoot yourself through your mouth, there's going to be brain matter and blood spatter. This was literally like a nice pool of blood underneath him that was soaking into the pillow. What, what in the world? The CSI, which is way lower budget, I'm pretty sure, does better. Where do you... Nicely lays on the pillow, dead. Yes, because that makes perfect sense. No, 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 makes no sense. And then everyone's like sobbing and crying, and I'm like, did nobody call 911? Y'all getting your handprints all over the scene. I really hope some of y'all go down for this murder or something, because I mean, it really don't look like a suicide from the way y'all viewed it. Um, there could have been a whole good plot twist there. Cause 911, have them come in. You kill them! You kill them! Could have been a lot better. I really would have more enjoyed that. I literally hated almost everything about this movie. Especially the recycled um, love interest scene. Literally, this is one of the first things I looked at him and said was like, they, this is the same scene from earlier. Literally the exact same scene. Like, this isn't reshot. This is copied and pasted. How, do you, can you get much lazier? Did you, re did you really just not want to do a fake scene with him again? Is that what I don't... I could literally rant about how horrible this movie was, like, for hours. So you probably just want me to stop. Well, I'm, I'm just going at it. No, no, I'm good. I'm... I'm... I can't. I feel like you're getting worked up like you did when you watched the movie. It was awful. It was great. I'll watch it again because I I picked up on things that I didn't remember about or things that I didn't notice. I didn't. I honestly, I watched the Cinema, uh, Cinema Sins like, video with you, and I didn't realize before that they had actually copied and pasted the sex scene. I wasn't even paying attention to that. So, as someone who reads a lot of romance books and who watches romance movies and stuff like that it's kind of it was really easy to spot just because like it was I mean things like that that are so horrible I mean it doesn't even look like it's a good scene but like that are so horrible and then you copy and paste it and you re-see it you're like why and like I I don't know I just can't I'm sorry you didn't notice but I, I didn't originally because uh, when I watched it it was it was kind of rushed. I didn't really remember it all that well. But I still reviewed it. I think that's enough. Any final thoughts, though? If you haven't seen it, please don't go watch it. If you haven't seen it, please do go watch no, it. No, save your brain cells. Brain cells are important, especially in this day and age. Brain cells matter. Sporto, brain cell lives matter. 
No, but seriously, you will watch it though. It, it will increase your brain count, brain cell count. Like it really will. I, mean, I think that if you haven't watched terrible things, we'll watch you in great things. This is a good medium. I think that this is one of the things you need to have watched in your lifetime. Public service announcement for Save the Brain Tales. Listen to me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's good for us. Close it up. And the words of him will catch you later.